Uh, yeah, yeah. So, by the way, I mean, I, I don't have a whole lot of songs uh, about the Holy Spirit. That's why we come up with this new one. So you guys did very well on it. and Yeah, very good. So good morning. Again, I'd like to welcome you to Hope Community Fellowship and to thank you or, or to, 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 thanks for coming to worship the Lord with us this morning. If this is your first time with us, again, welcome. We're glad that you're here. And this is not your first time with us. Well, welcome back. We're, we're glad that you came back. So today is it's the final message in a series that we've been doing about uh, the spiritual blessings received by those who are in Christ. And I've been putting up this slide uh, each week as a visual reminder of the spiritual blessings that we've studied so far in this series. And now while we are going to end up studying, by the way, the entire letter to the believers in Ephesus, uh, we've been like really uh, drilling down on this one particular chapter, chapter one here on verses three through 14, taking a look at the spiritual blessings. So remember, now I've mentioned this before that all of these spiritual blessings that we've been looking at, verses three through 14, in the original Greek language that this was written in, this is one sentence. So I mean, verses three through 14 were just one big entire uh, thought that Paul was putting out there. So the overarching theme, again, of the entire letter is about being in Christ. But this particular portion of the letter, it shows us five specific spiritual blessings that those who are in Christ receive as being in Christ. And as the outline shows, you know, remember we did uh, a few weeks ago, we did that, you know, those who are in Christ are chosen by the Father, and that the Father also predestines them for adoption. And then 